Hello. So I'm on this side of the camera today. Um, my name's Stacy. Um, I'm the other half. Excuse my alarm. I have to pick up kids soon. Um, today we have a softball game and just some after school activities. So I'm trying to throw together something really quick and I found this recipe that I wanted to try. So for this recipe, you're going to need, um, I have eight chicken thighs here. Um, I like chicken thighs more than I like chicken breast. Um, so we got eight boneless, skinless, um, fries, I mean thighs. You're going to take some creamy French dressing, um, about half a bottle. It calls for eight ounces and this is a 16 ounce bottle. And then about half a jar of apricot preserves. This is an 18 ounce is it jar. apricot or apricot? Apricot, apricot, tomato, tomato. Okay. I don't know how do other Texans say it. Where, say from wherever you're I've, I've from, let apricot. us know how you say it. And then a pack of onion soup mix. You're gonna mix this all together and then spread it over top of the thighs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and season our thighs. What are you seasoning? Them with? I am using uh, onion, garlic, salt, and pepper. That's my go-to mixture. For most everything onion powder and garlic powder onion powder garlic powder you can't show it because the camera is facing down not at your face Ooh, that one's going to be very garlicky there's nothing no such thing you can mark that one with an r mark because you like it garlicky you like the vampire bro Yep, you know, especially fresh garlic, not necessarily powder. You can't have too much pepper either. I'm going to generously season both sides of the chicken. And then use my spices again. Dip in the chicken. Sometimes you can go in here, you can see these are a little bit fatty. You can go ahead and um, trim that if you'd like. Beautifully seasoned. Wrong one. I'm gonna wash my hands and then we're gonna put together the mixture. So we don't usually use French dressing, so I had to purchase this. But I am excited for this recipe. The reviews were, oh, that sounds disgusting, but I made it and it was delicious. Uh, I'm, I'm on the disgusting side, it sounds nasty. But I'm so gonna we are gonna you. see how it tastes. That's about a half a bottle of French dressing. I think I need to add just a little bit more. If not, Whataburger for the win. Whataburger for the win. Or Chick-fil-A. Never go wrong with Chick-fil-A. About half a jar of apricot, apricot preserves. It's either or, not one or the other. Not both. However you say it. I'm just agreeing with you. Don't need any confusion. I'm already confused. All right, that's about half a jar. And then... I bet you could do this with other preserves, too. I bet you could. I bet it would be really good with, like, apple on the pork loin. <laughs> oh, well. And one packet of onion soup mix. And then you just mix it all up. With a fork or a whisk, probably. Yes. Either or. So we are going to pour that on top of the chicken. And then it will go in the oven. Are you doing this in like a casserole dish? I'm going to do it on this pan. Just a foil pan? Just the foil pan. We're going for easy cleanup tonight. That means fine china, folks. Fine china. But you could probably, do, it'd probably do as good or even better in a casserole dish where it can bake inside of it. Yes. You're just going to pour it on top. And then you'll just kind of spread it out on top of the, the meat. Do you flip it on both sides? Um, you can flip it for the excess. But the recipe said... 
just to pour it on top. There you go. You're gonna cook it at um, 350 for 45 minutes to an hour or until you get the internal temperature for chicken thighs. Uh, What's that? 165 is breast, 184 thighs. And there you go. She can be taught. And actually, uh, 165 is the USDA recommended temperature for chicken doneness. I take my darker meat, and I've told Stacy I'll take my darker meat up to between 175 and 190. Uh, just to help us break it down, gets it more tender. It's not as rubbery, and uh, you know it's done. All right, so I got my oven preheating for this, and we're going to make something else to go in with it. Um, so it's just going to be kind of like a sheet pan, and we're just using two sheet pans. Okay, we're oh, also man. gonna do some green beans. Normally, I do these in the air fryer and I love them. They're Parmesan green beans, but we're in a rush tonight, so we're just gonna put everything in the oven together. So you take um, fresh green beans, clean, and I put them in a Ziploc bag because it makes it a lot more fun. Then I'll just take some olive oil and drizzle that in there. Oops. Yeah, your that was a, your that was a heavy handed pour and then your I'm gonna definition take definition of drizzle and mine are a lot different. So um that was a little heavy handed. Then I'm gonna take my little. same four seasoning onion powder, garlic powder, salt. Ooh, girl. And pepper. Now, we'll mix this all up and put them on the sheet pan um, to cook. And then when they're about done, you'll take some Parmesan and sprinkle on top of it. And it is amazing. So like I said, normally these, I do these in the, um, in the air fryer. I really, really love them in the air fryer. You put them on, you cook for six minutes, toss them, you put for another six minutes, and then you put some Parmesan. All right, next I have some baby gold potatoes right here. I've sliced them in half, and we're gonna do the exact same thing we did with the green beans. Um, a little bit of olive oil, maybe not quite so heavy of a pour. Um, and the same four seasonings. Um, you can dress this up and like if you want a more Cajun taste or um, anything like that, you can do different seasonings. You can play around with it and make it however you want it. All right, so I got my potatoes in the same bag and it's the same concept, a little bit of olive oil, some garlic powder, that was a little heavy, some pepper, Salt and onion powder. Again, you can do these however you want. Uh, ranch is really good with those ranch seasonings. Uh, and we're just gonna shake this up and then put them beside the green beans. And then we'll just throw everything in the oven together and let it cook. Um, you cook the like same a, time as a chicken? Yes. We can put, um, you can put this in a little bit um, after. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw everything in at the same time because I'm cooking at a little, a little bit lower temperature than normal. So I just put these beside them. And then there you go. You got fresh veggies that are delicious. Um, and we're just gonna throw all of that in the oven when it gets to temp. Put this chicken in. And I'm trying to make room for both pans in there. I'm sure we'll have some comments on how to clean our oven. Yes, I know we need to clean our oven. And then there you go. Now we just let it cook. And I would say ideally you'd probably want to have two racks because you want 
enough space for the air to circulate in there. I'm glad I did this on a foil pan um, because it did caramelize and burn a little on the pan. Um, the, the mixture did. So I'm going to move it to another pan so that I can scrape some of this yumminess that's left over. Are you sure it's yummy? Um, yes. It actually smelled really good until it started burning. Um, so I'm going to put these over here. The breasts are, I mean the thighs are coming apart. That's good. Um, I'm going to try to scrape what I can off of this. Um, I, while it was cooking, I did try to spoon as much as possible on top once I noticed that it was um, starting to, um, excuse me, um, starting to all form around it. I tried to um, just spoon as much as possible on top. Just every 10 minutes, I would come in here and spoon on top. So they look really good. I just tried one little bite. It seems like it had a good flavor, but it was really hot, and usually you want to let it rest for a little bit and let some of that flavor kind of kick in. Good. And they smoke really good. So, it's not a lot. A lot of it, like, um, a lot of it burnt on the bottom. So, maybe I need to decrease my cooking time. Um, because I did check the temperature. The temperatures were as, a little bit over what I like it at, but not bad. So, uh, I think they? Uh, they were at 180. Oh, that'd be perfect. I'd even take them higher. So, I may decrease the time next time. Um, and maybe just not do it as long. Um, but here we go. Here's the final product. They smell really good from what I could taste. They taste really good and they look Here we have the potatoes and the green beans. Um, I did sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan on the last five minutes. I'm just going to go in here and do like a light dust of Parmesan on top of them. That's light dusting? Mm-hmm. Okay. And there we have it. Two pan meal. But everything cooked together, you just kind of make it, put it in the oven, and then you have a meal ready to go. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for Mondays, even though we don't like them. Mondays are rough days, Lord. We ask that you take away all the, the pain and heartache and stress off this Monday. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us with family and food. We ask that you use this food to nourish our bodies, Father. Bless those hands that prepared it. And just draw us closer to you, Lord. We love you. We praise you. It's in Jesus we pray. Amen. All right, y'all. Stacy cooked tonight. It smelled good cooking. Except for when the sauce started burning, but it looks really good. We're about to try it. Some of us already have. I think Tara and Taylor have both taken bites already. How is it? Green mouthful of green beans? I caught her. So she gets to go first. Is it good? She's Bad? eating the chicken! I bet I caught you on the camera first. I had both of y'all going back and forth, back and forth. So how is it? Good? Bad? Ugly? It's okay. Okay. Taylor? It is delicious. It's delicious. The sauce, it has like a very savory flavor. A very savory flavor. Huh. Okay. What about it's you, so string sweet. bean mouth? Okay. I need I'm meat. surprised because it's chicken with sauce. But, I like it. But, the potatoes need more flavor. You don't like the potatoes? They need more flavor. They need more flavor. Gotcha. And for you? I think it's good. But I have a little cold, so I'm not able to taste as well as
as normal, but from what I can taste, it tastes really good. But it's the COVID. It's not the COVID. COVID-19 ain't real. All right. Sorry, we have our fine china, so I'm using my fine silverware. Green beans are good. Not my favorite. Potatoes. That's hard to cut. If I'm being honest, I would. Uh, I agree with Grace. The flavor I think is good. I think they could have used some butter. <coughs> Surprise. Y'all would never believe that I would have said butter. No. The chicken. Oh, well, don't say you put butter on it. Mm -mm. Hmm. Honestly, the chicken's not bad. Um, it's not my favorite, but it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. It's um, very reminiscent of a, one of the Chinese chickens. I, I couldn't tell you which one. General, not general. So, sow, sow, so, sow. But it's uh, maybe like an orange chicken ish. Very heavy on the ish, but it's it actually like an orange chicken. Very, uh, it's very good, very moist. So uh, yeah, not my favorite meal, but very good, very easy. So we're gonna eat it. And make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. Bye! And wish Taylor good luck on our game. Yeah.